She's no average girl, too fine, oh she might She's so yeah. damn fine I just wanna call on you call Money on just you. fall on you Not a thing I won't do Ooh yeah, yeah I just wanna call Housekeeping just came in, so this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Look at the nice uh, design she's made here. And then that's the outside. Still have some things on the table here. We have the TV here. We have a little tray with some water, bottled water. If you watched my um, Travel to Cameroon video, I talked about drinking only bottled water. So I would link the video in the top corner, check it out. And yeah, our luggage. Mirrors, you can see me in the mirror. The closet is real nice looking here. Just uh, really nice, enough space. Here's the bathroom. It's a little different. You don't have shower curtains here, so is uh, it's different. shower I just use the shower head and just lay some towels on the floor so I don't spill a whole lot of water here luckily they do have a drain system right there so if I wet the floor it's not terrible yeah it's, it's really nice housekeeping took care of us and we take care of them and that's pretty much um, the room tour I'm trying not to have my my mom doesn't want to be on camera but she's present <laughs> so yeah this is this is what it looks like
Cause you want to be my lover, yeah Alright, so yesterday I showed you guys my hotel room, but I failed to talk numbers. Now, before we got here and I looked up the hotel on, like I googled it, it came up as, or it ranked under the top 10 hotels in Yaoundé. Yaoundé is the capital, but it ranked at number 10. It's the more affordable hotel of all the 10. Now, if you do the conversion on Google, you should be able to do francs safer, West African francs safer to US dollars to see what the conversion rate is. It's the most affordable one, but I think you're getting more bang for your buck because you're getting amenities that you would be used to coming from the US anyway, as I showed you guys. So I would definitely recommend this hotel. Now, obviously you can go to the Hilton. They have a Hilton hotel, which was actually ranked number one on the top 10 Hilton hotel. And then they have another one called Hotel Député. And then they have La Falaise, but you're like on the higher end, maybe about $200 a night, which for some people might not be expensive, but I think that's pretty pricey. Whereas over here, the conversion rate is about what 80 80 to 100 dollars a night which is not bad at all so yes those are the numbers as far as communication hotel staff like i said cameroon is bilingual english and french is spoken and the hotel staff for the most part they speak both languages but Yaoundé is predominantly French speaking. If you're going to be moving in the town, in the city, you would do well to brush up on your French. It'd be a lot easier to say blend in if you speak French, because if you're speaking the English, you're drawing attention to yourself, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I'd prefer to blend in <laughs> and learn the culture if I'm brand new here. So that's the other thing. Just something to keep in mind if you're coming to visit. So it's the day after we landed and my mom and I just demolished some bubble and fish when I tell you we demolished it you'll see it here in the b-roll so what bubble is is basically cassava which is grated you put it in leaves you tie it basically you suffer for your food as in like you suffer to make it you suffer to eat it we didn't make it by the way you know we bought it but it's a long process is what I mean so it's a grated cassava you wrap it you boil it fish stew is roasted you, you you, okay, she's going. She's correcting me now. You ferment the cassava. Say it. You, yes, you ferment it. Uh huh. And then you grate it or try to soften it up and cook it. Okay. You heard the lady. You ferment the cassava first. She corrected me, and then you grate it and then you boil it. And so what I meant by that is you suffer to make the food, you suffer to eat it. So now to peel it now is another thing because it's really sticky. And then the fish, lots of bones, so you have to eat with care. So yeah, we, we did some justice to that. And oh yes, there's also, it comes with also like some ground pepper, spicy as, as you would call it. It's really hot, hot and spicy, not for the faint of heart. So yeah, that's what we just ate. Like I said, you probably have seen it in the B-roll. I'll put the B-roll over so you can see it and... Yeah, that's all we have today. Sunday, we're chilling. Most businesses are closed here on Sundays. They need to do that in the US. <laughs> that would be really nice. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, y'all look at this. This is, I know it's a little dark. This is cubed brown sugar. I got so excited that when is, I saw it. That's this, it. Yeah, this is, the, this is the brand, cubed brown sugar. Now I grew up like with cubed white sugar, but I've never seen the brown ones. It's gonna be so excited. My childhood is calling. This and like brown eggs, which is why I always buy brown eggs in the US because I grew up eating brown eggs here in Cameroon. So yeah, I just thought that was really cool that I wanted to share with you guys. What the sugar look like is cute. Yes. It's later and my mom and I just came back from this chop bar for lunch. So a chop bar basically is a cross between a restaurant and street food i looked up the definition it's basically like a traditional eatery so the way it works basically is like 
it's table service like you will get the food brought to you however you don't need to wait to be seated like you just walk in wherever you see a table you just sit there and the interesting thing about this restaurant was like let's say i my mom and i like today for example my mom and i we sat at a table for four now we sat at a table for four there was already a guy there eating and it's completely normal so he finished he paid for his food now it was just my mom and i and other people came and sat across from us even though we didn't know them just strangers and it's a completely normal thing because a space is an issue and it's a very busy restaurant i i think that's mainly why that happens but like in the US that would be strange like we have a table to yourself and people like are coming to sit next to you it would be a fight <laughs> so that's one thing I wanted to point out so we sat there we ordered our food and then the lady came and took your order and then like of course we have separate tabs but we sit at the same table with strangers so but yeah what I had today and then yesterday because we went yesterday as well is fufu and eru it's a staple in, in the northwest of I, well yeah yeah they eat in the northwest of the country and southwest and man I could eat that thing morning noon and night like it's rare to come by in the u.s like there are african stores we can get it at but it's very expensive and it's a bit of a hassle to cook so like that's basically what i'm gonna be eating here until i leave because i'm like i always just telling my mom i want to eat it till i'm sick of it because when we get back to the u.s it's gonna be hard to come by when we do come by it is very expensive so yeah that was a good time all right, so this is what we have today. Rice, roasted fish, and some stew. This is a massive plate. And this is what my mom has. That is indole, chicken, and some yams. All right. Going with some, uh, with some um, uh, top, uh, top pamplemousse, which is basically grapefruit, grapefruit uh, juice or soda. And some uh, And then some water, super long. Bottled water is called super long, much like our, uh, what's it called, Dasani or Deer Park or whatever. Um, Zephyr Hills for those who live in Florida. So yeah, that's what we got. came back from that restaurant we go there literally every day and this is what housekeeping did on our bed very cute i remember when i was in disney doing housekeeping we used to do towel animals and so this reminds me of that just making a design on the bed it's pretty cool i like it So this is a view from my hotel window. It's pretty nice. Lots of hills way up there. There's a building up there. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Pretty nice. One other thing I forgot to point out was um, the uh, Unity Palace or Palais de Unité in French. That's where the president lives, way up there at the top. Do you see that white building right there at the top? I can't zoom in any much more. I'll probably see if I can circle it in the editing process. But you know how we have the White House where <laughs> Biden lives? Well, that's where our president lives, up there, way up there. Okay, traffic in Yaoundé, take two. So I already recorded my thoughts about this much earlier in the week, but 
again this is take two because i couldn't get my i couldn't articulate what i was trying to say so <laughs> we'll never complain about traffic again in philly at least not on camera because <laughs> what i've been seeing for the last couple of days of being here in yawunde population growth is not a joke i was saying to myself i don't remember it being this crowded when i left here at 13. for those of you who are new to my channel i came i left cameroon and came to the US at the age of 13. I was born here, went to the US at the age of 13 and they didn't come back to visit after 11 years. So that was back in 2012. And even then the traffic wasn't this bad. And then after another 10 year span, <laughs> I really need to try not to be waiting 10 years to come and visit. So after another 10 year span, I've come to visit again and the traffic is unbearable. When we complain about traffic, in Philly or like people in Atlanta or LA. I have never been to LA, so I can't really speak about your traffic. I've been to Atlanta and I know the traffic there is pretty bad, but it's nothing compared to here in Yawande. I'm telling you, because the roads, the roads are not there. Honestly, the roads are not there. Not so good times getting around town or even traveling out of the city on bad roads. I remember distinctly there being more paved roads with potholes in them and on paved roads in the capital city of Yaoundé where I grew up than there were smooth roads. The last time I was there in 2012, it had improved but only slightly. I hope to be wowed when I next visit. <laughs> The interesting thing about this whole thing is like it's organized chaos is the best way to describe it. <laughs> One lane traffic suddenly becomes two lanes. People just start forming a second lane and somehow they make it work. There's always a cop or a police woman or man controlling traffic at areas like intersections where there, there aren't any lights. And yeah, some, somehow we make it work, but the traffic's pretty bad. Like today, we were stuck in traffic for at least what an hour an hour and a half for what felt like five miles five miles of distance between the restaurant and the hotel i mean there were other factors which i may discuss later and there are some instances where someone will cut another driver off it happens quite often and it's fine and there's other instances when it's not fine and i can't really even tell the difference but you'll be able to tell when it's like not quote fine because people would you know trade <laughs> insults and like blow your horn but after that you just keep going there's no instance of anyone chasing you down trying to i don't know maybe even shoot you because you cut them off like a road rage situation there's none of that you can't even chase anyone down there's no space there's no space to, to speed and chase anyone down this is good this is fish this is a call in domba yeah so this is fish it was boiled in this leaves yep he says it's a fish from our rivers and it's wrapped up and boiled it smells really good all right so i wanted to show you what the currency looks like 500 francs right here which should be the equivalent of about mm -hmm, should be about a dollar we got our 1000 francs so that would be two dollars five thousand francs and that's ten thousand francs these are hard to come by they're they're not as many of this in circulation because whenever we try to get change like to break this amount you know people get angry because they don't they don't have to change it's not in circulation like that and i think within the next three months you're going to be pulling all of these out of circulation and giving you notes um, from what i understand so this is what this looks like i think it's pretty neat they all have different faces on them i don't know who these people are Unlike the dollar where we know there are presidents, dead presidents on it, these are different people, different ladies even, you know, that's pretty neat. This building actually is right in town. This is a central bank. And I think this one has timber. Cameroon is known for that. A lot of trees and production of timber. This has little kids on here what else does it have on here like mud huts here in the background this one has like ships at the port the port is in douala i think that's the economic capital of cameroon douala it is the economic capital yeah douala yes yes oh it is 
Yeah, can I make my, my mom just confirm this? Because um, Yaounde is the administrative capital in Douala. It's the economic, and those are actually the two biggest cities <laughs> in Cameroon. So they are very crowded, overcrowded, I would say. So yeah, that's all I got. All right, so we are wrapping up our vacation here shortly. Tomorrow we depart. And on one end, I'm ready to go back and go back to work. Not because I am particularly like working but because i want money so i can uh, save up to come right back next year or the year after next and on the other hand i kind of don't want this to end because it's been nice it's been nice eating like just really good fresh food that doesn't constipate me this might be tmi but like i haven't had any problems going not that i had before but it's been so much easier because of the food i've been eating nothing processed it's been nice eating fresh food like i said it's been nice not having to drive it's been nice not having to do housework it's just been a good time and it's been nice spending time with my mom but yeah that's all i have for right now i will see you at the airport or on the plane tomorrow now that i'm looking back i can see all the signs i tried to fill in the cracks that was spread in my mind but i I just really quickly wanted to show you some of the attire I brought from Cameroon because I was just inspired by Miss Trudy. I believe she's a Kenyan YouTuber and she did a vlog about going to Yawende Cameroon, which is where I was. And she did that video justice. I'm almost finished the video and they talked about kabangondos. And that just reminded me, I never showed you guys what a kaba is. It's basically like a mumu. Long dress you can wear for any attire, but it's like decked out. Like you can wear it in the house, you can wear it to any function. And my mom was able to get somebody to sew me one while we were there. They did it real quick. I don't know actually maybe my mom had it you know what I don't know but my mom gave it to me and then her friend who came to visit us in the hotel also bought me like a nice outfit that one is not African material it was on a mannequin she saw it she thought of me and she bought it for me but I still wanted to show you guys and also show you some of the other African attire that I have that I've never worn that I need to start wearing I think they can still fit me I haven't tried them in a while but <laughs> I just have it in my closet and I'm like now I'm thinking like what am I waiting for just drop a comment below if you'd like me to do like a not a get ready with me but like a video where I'm wearing African attire I think I have like maybe four or five outfits and I could make a whole video out of it but I'm not gonna make a video if like <laughs> nobody's gonna watch it so drop a comment below if you'd like me to do a video wearing African attire like sporting African attire like almost like a fashion show or a try on a try on haul just let me know all right let me show you those outfits now <laughs> all right so here we go as for these ones, I have had these for some time now. It's basically like a skirt and it has like a headpiece as well. I have never worn this and I don't know why, what I'm waiting for to wear it. <laughs> I guess I always figured I'd wear it to church, but I really don't go to church. So <laughs> I don't know. The next time I have like a nice like wedding or function to go to, that's what I'll wear. And that's the top that goes with it. This is the top. I definitely do want to model this if you guys like are up for it and then this is the other outfit this other shirt i'm pretty sure this can fit me this is the other shirt and that's the skirt that goes with it everything is matching this is just like a woolen scarf that my mom had needed for me some time ago i need to pull it out the next time we have negative three <laughs> degrees weather here in philly which is what happened around christmas and then this is the dress that my mom's friend had bought me you know what i changed my mind i think like i'm still gonna do a try on haul even though you guys haven't said you want to see one but i'm still gonna do one because i really don't want to take this clothes off <laughs> the hanger at the moment but i'll do a try on haul so that you guys can see what they look like on me and this is the kaba gondo i'm talking about see it's like a mumu but it's like it's cute like i can wear it anywhere and this is just like a random other shirt that <laughs> that I have that I haven't worn. I don't know where the bottom to this one is. But yeah, that's that's what I have. And I just dropped everything on the floor. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's what I have.